After 11 months and hundreds of hours of hard work, we have finally wrapped up our Unega Mountain Dog Rescue documentary about livestock guardian dogs in Idaho. We started filming back in November of 2022 and had our last filming session in October of 2023, about two weeks before we had to submit to the film to the Sun Valley Film Festival. Talk about waiting until the last possible minute. We filmed seven sit-down interviews that ranged from 30 minutes to over two hours. Since this is a documentary, we are dependent on the people in front of the camera to tell us their story so that we can put it all together in the form of a movie. Spanning the 11 months, we flew out to Boise and Sun Valley roughly 10 times to capture all the shots that we would need to bring our film to life. From the interview, A-roll shots, to B-roll shots of the dogs, and the stunning Idaho scenery. What was originally supposed to be a short film closer to 20 to 30 minutes exploded into a full feature, 90 minute long movie. It wasn't until I sat down and started editing the entire project that we realized just how much content we had and that in order to tell the whole story, we needed the full 90 minutes. As a filmmaker, it's a daunting task to create any kind of video and keep your audience engaged. Trying to then create something that is entertaining, informative, engaging, and moving, all while keeping an audience's attention for 90 minutes, well, it really felt impossible at times. But according to the feedback we've gotten from some of our early viewers, we did exactly that. Along this journey, we adopted a dog from Onega, Bubba, made new friends, and learned more than we could have ever imagined. Creatively, we are pushed to new limits. Now, when I watch the film, I know that it was all completely worth it. Hopefully, everything goes the way we plan, and our film will be in the Sun Valley Film Festival, and we can help the team in Onega educate people and change the laws that surround the Great Pyrenees, Akbosh, and all livestock guardian dogs. We've taken our audience with us along the journey of creating this film. Now that the film has been completed, and most of our trips to Idaho are done, we're going to create videos showing everything that went into the edit and all the people involved in bringing this project to life. As you can see, the beautiful board behind me is a timestamp roadmap of six of our seven interviews. And this mess around my desk, well, that is the creative process. In our next series of how we made our documentary film, we're going to show you all the elements that went into pre-production, uh, the planning, organizing trips, finding people to interview, and then how we organized all the footage we took over the months before we started editing. Then we'll explain how we actually edited the film and how we put together the story from a storytelling standpoint, which as it turned out was the hardest part of the entire project. And finally, we'll go over the post-production work from creating an original soundtrack to getting the film professionally colored and hopefully finding an A-list celebrity to do our voiceover. Ever have questions about the filmmaking or documentary process? Leave them in the comments and we'll address them going forward. We still have some videos in the pipeline from our trips out to Idaho so make sure you stay subscribed to see more dog content. We'll see you guys in the next one.